What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about SafeMoon V2 because there have been a lot of updates, some news because there was an ask me anything today. And I'm going to go over what actually happened, giving you guys a recap and some of my thoughts as well. Now before we get started guys, I know I have been off on YouTube and my voice might sound a little bit different. That is because I actually got sick. Uh, I actually did test for COVID as well, uh, but luckily I tested negative. So it was probably just a common cold. Uh, but again, if you kind of see me uh, like stop or maybe even cough or clear my throat in this video, it's because I'm sick, but I wanted to deliver this content to you guys. Uh, and I should also have another video coming up. Uh, make sure you guys are subscribed and stay tuned for that video later today. Hopefully, uh, it's going to be what I'm looking to buy in October because I'm looking to drop around ten to fifteen thousand dollars into the crypto space in October, uh, and I'm going to tell you guys exactly what I'm going to be doing. Okay, so let's get right into SafeMoon right now, guys. We can see. <clears throat> Taking a look at the chart, guys, is the one month chart. We can see we have been a bit on a downtrend. Uh, obviously, not that good, but again, uh, we're still holding. Uh, I am still holding all my safe moon. And if you guys do exactly want to know what I'm buying and selling and exactly when, you guys can get my crypto and stock market buy sell alerts. It's the first link in the description. You guys can do so for just 10 bucks a month, cheaper than Chick fil A. So I strongly recommend you guys go and get that. But yeah, taking a look at coin market cap, guys, this is what, what happened. Um, <coughs> and yeah, it's. You know, there's a lot of news, obviously, with the wallet, the iOS store, and everything. Let's take a look at this, right? So today is October 3rd, um, and they did launch the iOS beta for the SafeMoon wallet. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I am hearing certain things of SafeMoon being taken away from people's wallets. Uh, I'm not too sure exactly what it is. I haven't looked into it, but uh, if you guys are experiencing that, uh, leave a comment down below because that isn't you know the best of news uh, me personally i haven't used the safe moon wallet i do use an android phone so i do actually have access to it if i wanted to uh, but i just use uh my actual wallet like, i don't use the safe moon wallet no reason behind it but hey it is what it is so moving forward guys we can see uh, they have been tweeting hey apple what's the huddle up or what's the hold up you know they want to get the safe moon wallet on there uh, and then we can see they did their uh, ama so their uh, twitter spaces and in this video, we're mainly going to go over what happened. Okay, so here we have a V2 update. So obviously, guys, we know SafeMoon is going to be doing a V2 of their token. So one trillion will be the new supply for V2. With the burn, we will have 575 billion in circulation, token consolidation, a thousand to one in the V2 update. Okay, so that's very interesting. Uh, we can see a lot of people do still have questions, and we, we're trying to figure out, hey. Um, you know, how is this going to work? Uh, how are we going to do the swap? How is it going? How are we going to like, you know, are we going to use the wallet? Are we going to use this exchange? Uh, there's a lot of people kind of just asking some questions uh, and I'm sure we will get the answers. And again, I want to highlight this comment in specific because someone said, so now uh, one cent value is worthless and to be a game changer, we need to be over $10. Sadly, I don't think it'll get there. Damn, I'm starting to regret this. Uh, and this guy said, no, it's still the same percentage gain required. Okay, so we'd still need a uh, thousand whatever percent to hit a penny, same to hit $10. So guys, me personally, um, <clears throat> I don't know how I feel about the whole V2 token thing. Usually we've seen uh, certain projects start to re just release more tokens. Uh, we saw it with, I believe it was Ghostface. Uh, they made another token and it's like having more tokens is like, it can really kill a project, right? And again, uh, I'm not even trying to hate on Shiba Inu, but they have what, like three tokens now? They have like Leash, Bone, uh do they even have four? I don't even know, but like that project is like, let's be real, that project is dead. Uh, and I don't want SafeMoon to go through the same route because if I'm being honest, SafeMoon really is something that has a lot of potential and it is the biggest, I guess, revolution, the biggest cult, whatever you want to call it, uh, from the whole Binance Smart Chain, you know, the whole shitcoin season, right? Who remembers the shitcoin season? Uh, so I do hope that they don't absolutely kill the token. Uh, but again, with the V2 update, we're going to get more information. We're going to see what it's for. What it, we're we're going to get more stuff, okay? And when that does happen, obviously, guys, make sure you subscribe with the notification bell because you guys are going to know exactly what's going on on this channel first, okay? So Another thing is they are evolving the safe moon roadmap. Okay. So they're asking, what would you like to see in 2021 and 2022? Uh, and then we can see the token listings update. So um, if you want to apply for swap by safe moon in the safe moon wallet, you guys can actually do that as well. So again, if you do own a project or anything like that, that's pretty cool. Uh, another thing is the safe moon wallet update. Okay. So in 20 days, they hit 150,000 plus Android downloads, which is crazy. Okay. 4.9 stars and over 22,000 Google reviews, which is nuts. Uh, 10K iOS beta testers and iOS with Apple for approval. Okay. So just waiting for approval there, which is super cool. Uh, we can see they have their safe moon Sunday. And then here, on the roadmap, guys, they are going to be doing uh, a SafeMoon card in 2021. Now, uh, where's my wallet? Over here. As you can see, when it comes to crypto cards, right? So I do have this uh, crypto card right here. Let me make sure I got the right one. Yeah. So this card right here, guys, is actually uh, from the Crypto.com exchange. Uh, so this is the CRO card. And it actually has a lot of benefits. I made a video on it before. If you guys are interested, go and check it out. But 
Are we going to see something like that? That's going to be very interesting. So I hope to see, I'm looking very forward to seeing what's going to happen. Uh, and also, like I said, if you guys want to know about that card, go on my channel and just search up Radice, uh, CRO, credit card, or something like that. And you guys will see it. Now, SafeMoon Exchange 2021 launch. Now, guys, this is where things can get crazy because once they implement tokenomics, uh, we can see a lot of crazy things happening with SafeMoon. So I'm very excited for that. And we're going to see how that goes. Uh, another thing is the hard wallet is shifted to 2022. So if you guys don't remember, uh, they actually did announce that they're going to make a hard wallet literally just due to the fact that I believe it was Ledger that tweeted something about SafeMoon being unsafe. And then I believe it was Mr. Crony, John Crony, who was like, yo, honestly, Ledger, if that's how they want to talk, all right, we're going to make our own uh, hardware wallet or hard wallet. And they're doing exactly that. So we're going to see how that goes. Okay. Now they're also going to do a podcast 2021. That's going to be very interesting as well. Uh, I would love to see SafeMoon be, I guess, more inclusive of their influencers. Hey, it doesn't even have to be me. Uh, even though I was one of the first people on YouTube to talk about SafeMoon, it doesn't even have to be me. But I'd love to see uh, some more influencers. There's a lot of crypto YouTubers out there uh, just being more involved with SafeMoon. I think that would really differentiate SafeMoon from, I guess, the rest of the pack or all the other cryptocurrencies. I think that's pretty cool to see. Uh, now, another thing is we can see uh, Dark Mode on the SafeMoon wallet. Cool. Everyone knows Dark Mode on everything is just better. And now, guys, wind turbines, okay? So what's going on here with these wind turbines, all right? I have a little bit of news, but again, uh, we're going to have to see uh, what this exactly talks about, but there's something going on with wind turbines, okay? Uh, there is a Reddit post that we're going to look at in a bit that will kind of talk about that, but yeah. Uh, another thing is, okay, the recap, right? Uh, token listings, roadmap, hardware wallet, and the V2 supply or the V2 token. And then we can see on this Reddit post, guys, um, on the roadmap update. So BNB purchase via SafeMoon wallet very soon. That should be cool. Multi-wallet support and advanced security slash encryption is on its way. Uh, exchange is delayed, but not by a lot. Focus is on regulatory and compliance issues. <coughs> Excuse me. The tech side will move quickly. Uh, and SafeMoon, like I said, uh, we just looked at it tweeted a 2021 launch. Now, major project Phoenix update still on for December. Uh, that's the end of the year. Guys, can we believe it's almost going to be Halloween? Guys, everyone comment down below, hashtag SafeMoon Army, and comment down below, what are you guys going to be for Halloween? I should be an astronaut, and we should go to the moon. I don't know, we'll see. But iOS release, okay, cool. Uh, and then V2, the contract is written. Uh, they're waiting on iOS. Migration will be as close to one click as possible. Uh, we'll use same burn wallet. And a consolidation, one trillion total supply, around half of which is already burnt, a thousand to one. Uh, Two percent transfer fee, less safe moon distributed, but will bring more users. Uh, still a 10% buy sell fee, and a blacklist feature, which we're not going to see exactly. We don't know the specifics, but will be interesting. Uh, another thing is the wind turbines. Okay, so this will cont contribute to the burn slash buy. Delivery of very first units. Didn't catch if they were delivered or still waiting for them. Prepping, then shipping to sites for install. Again, I have no idea what that's supposed to mean, but seems interesting. I don't know. Wind turbines, cool. Uh, SafeMoon on exchanges. Okay, so they're always looking to ex list on exchanges, but the focus is the SafeMoon ecosystem. Uh, they're more interested in partnerships. Uh, okay, and then we have the SafeMoon card, uh, the hard wallet, and the wallet listings. Okay, so pretty cool. Uh, and Obviously, we can see on Reddit, a lot of people are just talking about it and just, you know, saying, oh, hey, blah, 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 whatever. Uh, so, yeah, it is quite interesting, guys. Uh, we can see the 1,000 to 1 ratio is where a lot of people are kind of like, hmm, okay. Uh, and then, again, we can see the black listings, uh, which means exchange will no longer receive tokenomics, meaning more for us. Also, big wheels that dump could be targeted. So, again, it's very interesting to see what is going to happen, guys, with the V2 token. Look, this is a V, and this is the number 2, okay, V2. Uh, so, guys, let me know. What do you guys think about the uh, new SafeMoon V2 contract, or not the contract, but the token? What do you guys think about the new roadmap? What do you guys think about today's AMA to ask me anything? Let me know in the comments down below, guys, and always uh, make sure you join my free Discord. And like I said, guys, uh, I should have a second video out today because uh, I am feeling a lot better. I'm, a bit, I'm able to talk now without, you know, absolutely just, you know, like I was bad sick. It was just terrible. I'm feeling a lot better. I don't have COVID, so that's awesome. Uh, so, yeah, I should have a second video because I want to make more videos for you guys. But again, it just sucks when, you know, some things happen and you can't really control it. But it is what it is. So, guys, like I said, if you guys want to know exactly what I'm buying and selling, uh, if you guys want to catch my 2Xs, my 5Xs, my 10Xs, all my gains, if you guys want to know exactly what I'm doing, uh, make sure you guys sign up for this first link in the description. Uh, and until next time, guys, just like my book and my hoodie, which I'm wearing some merch, which is unreleased. Probably never going to drop this, but remember, stay seeking success. <laughs>